It's cheese time. I like that you did that segue. All right. All right, so we'll start off. i transition back to full cam. Oh, yes. Do, 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 do. Speaking of, do you have that um that stream deck thing you're working on? Is that fixed or is I, that I, I, I think working? I'm just going to give up on that. Yeah, because I took it all apart, rebuilt it, and then two of the screens don't work and the buttons still don't work. Nice. Thank you, Wavy, for the 15 minutes. We appreciate it. And I don't know if you noticed when I emailed the person, they just kind of were like, check my Discord. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's fine. We can just kill it. So what we have here is we have, I don't even know if I'm going to say this right, Montu Alpine Style. Um, so that's an Alpine Style cheese with hand-smeared rind. It's a rare find. Uh -huh. We have wine-soaked goat cheese. That's a Spanish goat cheese smoked in red wine. I don't know if I'll like that. Interesting. Um, and then we ha the last one is bergamot and hibiscus hand-rubbed fontal. Sounds fun. It's an award-winning cheese, guys. Nice. We should have had crackers, dude. That's the ultimate way to test cheese. Uh, do we have? I don't think we have any. We have chips and stuff. Yeah. Uh, getting drunk on the clock. Exactly, dude. I, I'm not gonna lie. I almost bought us some brews just so that we could, because it on the front it says pairs well. Pair well with with yeah. an amber ale. Nice. I, I was honestly just gonna get like Angry Orchard and then I, probably like an IPA or something yes. for you. But then I was like, I feel like that's really wrong for us to do at 9:30 in the morning. <laughs> No like, I feel like that's like alcoholic point. Yeah. All right, dude. No one knows nothing. Here's your slice which of one's cheese. This? Uh, so this is. Don't eat the wax. Wait, how do we know which one's which? Um, let's just eat it. That's a very strong cheese. Ooh, I actually really like that. That's pretty good. Mm. What kind was that one? They said some rinds you can eat, but so, do you guys think that this is wax? And it's very. It's almost like, my God! Thank scary. you all the biddies, everyone. Yeah, we appreciate that, guys. Dude, Thank the cheese—it's winning everyone over. Mm. That's actually really good. So yep. that's, so that's Montu. There's wine-soaked goat cheese, bergamot hibiscus rubbed fontel. Whatever one that was, it was this pretty one's good. the rubbed one. I think. I'm gonna assume this one's Montu. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right. So the next one. I really don't know which one. I, we'll just try it, and if it tastes like wine, then we know which one's which at that point. Yes. We're going to make McAllister try all these when he gets Put here. Put ketchup on it? I don't know why you wouldn't like cheese with ketchup. Don't you like... I don't taste wine at all in that one, so I'm going to assume that last one. Yeah. Because it was kind of sweet. So we're going to say that the last one was wine-soaked goat cheese. I think this one's Montu cheese. Oh, no. I want to try this one do again. We, do, do we need to <laughs> sample? Need, need... Chat, I think it's between these sample. two for me. I personally like those because they kind of have like a sharper taste. We're gonna to do them. this time. We're gonna see if we can eat the crust. Oh, we're gonna try it with it. Yeah. You just take a nibble of the crust and just see if it's like. That's where the wine taste is. Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. It's fancy cheese. All right, so oh my, this one this is very a... hard. Okay, so first one we're gonna try is the uh, copper kettle, which. It's, it's the most solid cheese we've felt so far. Where do you get all the money to buy the food? You all, you all give us this money. This is money from the streams. This one's strong. Mm. So this one reminds me of a cheese. It tastes like, um, it has a very rich mozzarella flavor. Yeah. Kind of has a sweetness to it. Yeah. Which I kind of like. Okay. So what we, I probably should have read that off before I did this. Um, Okay, so luckily they'll, they'll stick to the paper pretty well. So we have uh, up top smoked pepper gouda. I feel like that's gonna be pretty gouda. good. That's probably gonna be similar to the pepper jack, I would think. Um, and then at the, the bottom right, we have six month manchego. Manchego? Manchego, I guess. Uh, I don't I don't really know about that one. It just looks like a pretty plain cheese. And then the last artisan looking cheese is Hiris uh, rubbed Fontal cheese. It's a lot of Fontal cheese just rubbed in different things. I'm starting to realize that. Yes. So every single one of these has been Fontal. Just the dill one just hit just right. <laughs> Smoky. Very. The smokiness you taste way more than the cheese doesn't have a lot of flavor. No. It just tastes like. Which I kind of like. Yeah. Kind of tastes like you just sat a block of cheese in like a grill yeah. and let it sit there. Or just a smoker, just sat it in there. That's refreshing because a lot of these cheeses are so strong. Mm. That's good. It was a great story about cheese. I want to hear it. 